Next tonight, we won't support devolution under the current deal. The message from councillors in Cambridgeshire today is they dealt a big blow to the plans to change politics in the East. Cambridgeshire is a major player in the devolution bid, which would see it partner with Norfolk and Suffolk to create a kind of super authority with more political powers. Together, they'd have more say over issues such as transport and planning. But one single elected mayor would be brought in to have a deciding say on those issues. And Cambridgeshire is now insisting the architects of this plan go back to the drawing board, as Mosimi Bakshi reports. A full house for full council, but civil insurrection was in the air. Plans to create a devolved government and elect a new mayor in tatters on the floor. One by one, councillors stood up to dismiss the deal. The Liberal Democrats supported in their objections by both the UK Independence Party and Labour. An amendment to reject the deal in its current form voted through 64 to 1. And one of the key reasons, the plans for an East Anglian mayor too ambitious. To do it over this enormous geography is just trying, it's just um, investing a huge amount of power for in somebody who can't really speak for one place. This isn't really one place. It's, it's a whole disparate number of places and I don't really see the rationale for a mayor for that um, area. Um, the, there are also other objections. The business community don't agree with this. There's a real sense that there is not enough in this for Cambridgeshire. The language in today's debate was defiant. Claims the Treasury's devolution deal was dreamt up on the back of a cigar packet and a warning from the leader of the independents saying any plan must be backed by business. Councils in Norfolk and Suffolk were asked to be bigger, bolder, better in their plans for devolved government. Today's decision here in Cambridgeshire means the county council takes its turn to renegotiate a better deal. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is have a meeting with my uh, chief executive, Gillian Beasley, and we're going to look at planning how we're going to engage with government some more, how we're actually going to go about and consulting the, the people of this area, the businesses of this area, what they think of the current form and how, how we can move forward to a different form. And actually, one of the most important things for me is actually trying to get more information out about not uh, where we are now and possibly where we may end up at. For now, it's a no from Cambridgeshire to government plans and back to the drawing board to renegotiate a better deal. Mosami Bakshi, BBC Look East, Cambridge. Meanwhile, there's been yet more opposition at Westminster today to the prospect of an elected mayor in this region. The Peterborough Conservative MP Stuart Jackson said the proposals don't stack up and appear to have been rushed in. And the former Conservative Party chairman, Norman Tebbit, told the House of Lords today an elected mayor would be expensive and bureaucratic. Those of us who have the privilege of living in East Anglia, and particularly those of us who live in Bury St Edmunds, where we have an excellent council which has improved services overall and kept rates well under control, do not need an elected mayor for yeah, East yeah. Anglia. Yeah. That will only raise costs, introduce another layer of government and lead to further escalation of these problems. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's maybe so, but uh, I would reiterate again that we very much uh, think it's right that it's up to the local area to decide these matters. 